Hello friends, welcome to week 12 of the Sabbath School Nugget, Dying Like a Seed. A big thank you to Pastor Bob for his insightful thought on last week's lesson. Our memory test this week is found in John chapter 12 verse 24. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. If you are a parent or have spent time supervising young children, especially toddlers, you know how they like to test the boundaries and the limit you set for them, as if they have been wired to do exactly what you tell them not to do. There are times we behave like toddlers in our relationship with God. We know that His will is best for us, but we sometimes have a hard time submitting to it. Perhaps we are afraid to lose control. Or we think we know better than God. Or we don't trust that he had our best interest at heart. Yet nothing could be further from the truth. When we look at Jesus, we find the most powerful example of submission in the Bible. As Ephesians, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8 tells us, being in the form of God, Jesus, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a servant. Jesus was fully and completely God, but being God, he submitted to the Father's will for him. He took upon him the form of a servant. He became, he came to earth as a baby and for our sake suffered the death on the cross. You will recall in his prayer in the garden of Gethsemane, where in agony he cried that if possible the cup of suffering might pass from him. But in the final time he altered that prayer. It was one of submission. If this cup cannot pass from me except I drink it, thy will be done. Death on the cross was a bitter cup, but Jesus drank it in submission to the will of the Father. And what an example he has set for us. Even more profound because he died for us, we know that Jesus loved us infinitely. And because he loved us so, he truly does have our best interest at heart. We can, by his grace, submit to his, knowing that, that all things will work together for good. Calvary testify to that, that Jesus loves us. And that is the nugget. Thank you for stopping by. Study your lesson and I will see you tomorrow. <music>